Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth course. And in this video, we are going to go over multi-camera editing. Now you might ask, why use multiple cameras? Well, there's several different reasons. And the one that most people can relate to is a football game or a baseball game. They have many, many cameras set up in the stadium and they can cut from one to the next to the next and it's in real time and there's no syncing problems because there's no uh, delay in any of the cameras. Um, if you're doing an interview, you could have three cameras. You could have a two shot where you have two people in the in the image, one on the left and one on the right and you could have a camera on one person which is called a one shot and a camera on the other person which is another one shot um, you could have three cameras pointing at the same thing doing the same interview and then if you need to cut from one to the other um, it's much easier to do that if all of your cameras are in sync and they're all recording um, you can use a clapperboard to get them in sync you can use time code um, it's just one of those um, things that depends on the situation. But most of the time when you see an interview in a studio, they'll have more than one camera filming it just so they can cut back and forth between it. They might cut while they're doing the recording or they might just record all three and then come in and do what we're going to do here, which is multi-camera editing. Even though we have it set up just for two cameras, um, uh, it works with any number of cameras, however many Premiere will work with however many your system can handle. So, um, let's go in and one way to do syncing, which is getting the audio and the video to match up and then having two pieces a video matching each other so when you cut from one to the other it doesn't have any change between it's just like you're moving from one angle to another is to use the time code and let me show you what we have here we have I have two videos here that are almost the same length except uh, we started this one obviously a little bit before we started this one recording so there's a little bit of a difference. So they're not exactly the same. They're not exactly synced up to the exact same amount. In fact, this one is only five frames or five seconds off of this one. So uh, just under five seconds, 4.22, four seconds, 22 off from the other one. And which basically means you push the record on this one and it took, just under five seconds to get over and start recording on the other one and then doing action. Um, time code, uh, if you have a camera that does time code, um, these two cameras were set, the time code was set independently, so it doesn't match up exactly, which is an, a human error, not a computer uh, error. If you had them fed off of the same time code stream, they would match exactly. But these have two different time code streams, but they were set really close to each other. So after we sync them here with the time code, then we can go in and fine tune the sync, which I will show you after we sync them. So we have two pieces of video here, but we want to see which one is the one that we want to, to use for our syncing. And it's this one here. This is our main camera. And this is our main audio. So when when we go to select these two, we want to select this one first and then hold down the shift key and select the other one. So whichever one you use first, that's the one that the audio is going to be chosen when you do the multi-camera. And then all we need to do is to right click, go down to create multi-camera source sequence, select it. And we want to use the time code on these to sync them up and um, the time codes on these ones are uh, I'm not sure what it came to but you'll notice that there's ignore hours 
Um, I'm not sure why these are. Maybe they start in the same hours, but uh, normally you can either check this or uncheck it because the time code, this one might start at one hour and this starts at two hours, but the everything else in the time code, uh, the minutes, the seconds, and the frames will match up between the two. It's just the first number here, 01, 02, 03, will be the camera number. And then you could ignore the the hours. And you can name it whatever you want. We're just going to leave it at the name there. And we will click OK. And now we have our source, our sequence to multi-camera sequence. And we want to uh, bring that down into our timeline. Uh, it doesn't match. We'll just keep the existing settings. Um, and here is our sequence. And you look, and there's only one video. It's the first video we chose. That's the only thing showing up here. But we have to go to our multi-camera monitor. And then we can see the two videos there. But we're going to do that after we go in and... Um, make sure that these these two are um, synced up. Uh, we're not going to sync it up here. We're going to sync it up in a different uh, section, the marker sync videos. And that's the next one, is using markers to sync up the videos that we have. And this is actually, um, it's not too difficult, especially if you have a clapper board or you have somebody that... Uh, claps something that makes a sound that you can easily see on the video um, let me open these up and we have three different pieces here that we want to edit together onto the multi uh, multi-camera sequence but we can't use this one yet until we edit we put these on a sequence and we again we want to use this video first and then this one is our secondary so I'm going to go ahead and open this in the source monitor and we're gonna find a spot that we can uh, put a marker on here to match it up with the other video and let me turn up my volume here a little so I can hear it and I can properly select the sync point and let's go ahead and naturally red hair and blue eyes and blue eyes and it stops so we're gonna put a marker right there on the blue eyes let's go back here we'll open this one it was about here and, blue eyes. and it's just about the same spot we'll hit the marker there now we have a marker on both of the videos and you'll notice that it's a little bit off from each other so we'll go in here we'll select this one you hold down this one we right click and we come down to create multi-camera source sequence and we want to do the clip markers and we have unnamed marker one which is the marker here we're gonna we're gonna uh, sync it up on that point so we click OK and here is our multi-camera sequence let's bring it down here doesn't match again I'm gonna turn this off so we don't see it anymore and I have naturally red hair and blue eyes. So we see the initial video here. Um, we're just going to work on editing this, and then I will show you how you can sync this up down here. So we're not even going to worry about this right now. 